Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Alexis Frazier. Here's a look at the top stories making news today. North Miami Beach police say they shot and killed a man armed with a machete following a hostage negotiation. It happened along Northeast 2nd Avenue near the Golden Glades interchange. Police say they tried to use a taser on the man, but that seemed to set him off even more. Officers say he then ran into a nearby building and held a machete to a woman's neck. We're told the man refused to obey commands, and that's when he was shot and killed. The woman and officers were not hurt. A driver left with serious injuries and a white Mercedes Benz riddled with bullets after a shooting on I-95 in Broward County. The apparent drive-by shooting happened late Wednesday night in the northbound lanes just south of Broward Boulevard. Troopers found the driver shot. He was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. A motive and any suspect information have yet to be released. North Miami Beach's embattled city attorney has resigned rather than face almost certain termination next week. Hans Otnot was seen running from news reporters at the last city commission meeting rather than answer questions about the drama engulfing the city. The three of seven commissioners who support him have boycotted meetings since last fall, preventing any city business, including his termination. And in Southwest Miami Dade, the Youth Fair is back for its 71st year, and this year's theme is the world of fun. And visitors can indulge in tasty treats like deep fried milkshakes and pickled lemonade. The fair also introduced a new roller coaster ride called the Outlaw. This weekend, the amusement park will be hosting its first 5K run, which actually benefits the Youth Fair Scholarship Fund. And as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.